Hey guys, we're live. How's it going? Welcome to the pond. We've got the Atomic Barbed Wire 2 with us. We're gonna throw it in the water here and give you guys a live run of it. So, should be fun. It's gonna be a, maybe a five minute video, something like that. We're on our way to get a haircut, so we found this little uh, pond here. And so we thought it looked perfect for the barbed wire. So, kids and family are in the car right now. How's it going, James and Isaac? Here we go, guys. Get to see a, see a live run with the boat. See how it does here. It's stupid fast. <laughs> Charge up all three of the 3S LiPos I have for it. And uh, we've already burned through two of them. And then I thought, you know what, let's go live before we leave. Water's nice and smooth. And it just rips. I'm loving it. I'm having so much fun with this, especially now that we've got a place that I know of that's somewhat nearby, eight to ten minutes away, where I can take it to run. Give you guys a little bit of a... Uh... Oh, submarine. Where will it pop up? Ha ha ha, there it is. Hey, Chevy man. All right. Having a hard time watching the comments here. Someone's saying that's agile. Oh, submarined it again. I look down. Where will it pop up? There it is. You know what? Someone's saying it's agile, and I actually turned the rates down because my kid was driving it just a second ago. So there, turn them back up a little. See if we get a little more hard cutting. Whoa. Again, I don't have a recovery boat with me, so <laughs> we're trying our best not to leave it on the lake. But it will make some really sharp turns. And then if you nosedive it, it disappears. <laughs> but the thing's really waterproof, I'll tell you what. You hardly get any water in it at all, even when you submarine it. And it's a plane. <laughs> yeah. A boat, a submarine, and a plane. This thing does it all, guys. Atomic RC's done a, a great job with this little ripper. It's tiny, too. 17 inches. Oh, there we go. Jumped it out of the water there. Man, it's fun. Don't even have to take it far away, it's fun. Just bashing it back and forth here, guys. Let's get a little closer here. Look. Uh, we've been going three minutes. I don't want to leave it out much longer. Just, uh, we can have have anything to get it if I run out of battery. It's 1300 milliamp hour. One of them I had to charge a whole uh, thousand. You see there guys, it did its auto recovery. It was upside down and it just writes itself. It's really awesome. But the water's cold, everything's kind of cold. So the battery, one, I think that's what made it go under 30 miles an hour was just the cold the other day. But uh, I just don't trust it with battery life either, being as long as maybe normal, so. We're gonna go three minutes-ish and call it good, which is about where we're at right now. So I'm gonna bring it back in here, guys. Look at this little thing. <laughs> it's so awesome looking. The graphics are just super cool. Super cool. Right, get out of the water here. All right. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Uh, how does it write itself? Somebody's asking. Uh, you know, I don't know how it does it, honestly. It just says let it sit there for a second, hit the gas, and just turn the, the controller. And I don't know if the rudder helps or what, but it just it whips itself and it's, uh, it writes itself, which is really awesome. So we're going to go get our haircuts now. And 
uh, hair's cut, hair's cut, haircuts. Uh, we're all going to get them, so should be good. But thanks for tuning in, guys. I got some awesome mud truck footage for you. I think I figured out what issue I was having with. I'm definitely having an issue, so I'm losing the slipper on it. So I think it's I put the motor in backwards. It's actually like driving in reverse, and so the slipper I think is just unthreading. So I'm gonna have to think about how to fix that. So anyway, that's a different video. This is about the Atomic RC. Awesome. The barbed wire too is uh, super rad. So uh, I think they're about 170 bucks, 169. That's the retail. So you might get them cheaper than that in store. You know how they always have the manufacturer price. I don't know, but uh, it's totally worth it at the price point, guys. It's a lot of fun. It's a ripper. So brushless power, uh, 3S capable, very cool. So we'll check you guys next time. Thanks for tuning in.